Hello there, YouTube Tech Savage Pro here, and today, as you can tell, we're going to be looking at a page on Routine Hub. This is actually made by Jonathan Setzer. It's a tweaked shortcut, a tweak series shortcut. As you can tell, the title of it is I Tweak, and it has a good description behind it on what exactly it does. It says a jailbreak alternative with more than 40 plus plus apps and over 30 tweaks. So that's pretty cool that a shortcut can do something like that. Not many can. I don't think there's another one out there as of right now that can do something like that. That's publicly released at least. So this is pretty cool. Now, like I said, huge shout out to Jonathan Setzer. His information is right here actually. So you can go ahead and look at his information and his page and stuff. Once you click the link that I'm going to give you in the description, now, along with this, I'm actually going to give you the link to my Routine Hub page. I actually make shortcuts as well, but a lot of them aren't this good. They're pretty cool, I think, but none of them are this advanced. But, like I said, the link will be in the description below, so go ahead and feel free to check that out along with my channel pages, and go ahead and check out this shortcut. Now, once you do check out or click the link to get to here, you're just going to go ahead and click get shortcut now i've actually already installed it so once you get here or if you've never installed a shortcut before you're probably gonna have to install the shortcut app you're gonna be redirected to the app store more than likely just go ahead and install the shortcut app and then once you're done with that go ahead and click open you should be brought to a page that looks like this if it's white or whatever just wait a little bit then this should come up then once you're here, just go ahead and click Get Shortcut. Like I said, I've already installed it, so I'm just going to go ahead and click Replace. From here, just go ahead and click Library. And then, like you can see, I have a ton of shortcuts, some that I've made, some that I've found. But as you can tell, there's a lot to do here. So we have a Help and Introduction. I'm guessing that tells like exactly what it does, but I'm going to pretty much explain that. Now, if we click on the tweaks and apps section, you can tell that there's a lot that we can do in this. There's tons of stuff that we can do. We can install tweaked apps like Snapchat++, all from this Siri shortcut without having to leave the app itself or anything. So it's very, very useful. Now, if we go down below that, we can see that we have more options. We have a option to go into the system tweaks, which is pretty cool. You have silent mode for iPhone. You have low power mode plus plus, which I may or may not have already made a video on. I can't remember. Now, the one above that, I have actually made a video on no folder labels. Um, that one's pretty cool. But instead of having to go through like the wallpapers and stuff website like the imptool.net you can just click that and it'll take you straight to it so that's pretty cool and then you have theater mode for iphone and ipad which if you don't know what theater mode is it's basically the thing on the apple watch whenever you go into movie theaters you can click that and it won't go off constantly so kind of seamlessly runs in the background I guess to give you a more subtle experience and then we have custom icons for apps and visible icons for map for apps high dock wallpapers I've made a video on that frame to docs and wallpapers static dynamic wallpapers now all of those are from the hey Yeast website which I've featured in a past video you can get changed font you can run mac os on your device now some of these are not entirely stable like some of them uh, are cool down your device heat up your device um so we're gonna go ahead and heat up our device so if we just click ok it'll say this device does not have a flashlight but that's because it's an ipad and i don't know if all ipads don't have flashlights but the one that i have does not now the way that that tweak 
works is it basically turns on your flashlight and turns your brightness all the way up. And the cool thing about it is I actually resprung my device after doing that and the flashlight was on the entire time. So it is a legit working heat up device tweak. So we have a few other ones like we can speed intensifier, which is a jailbreak tweak that we can go ahead and do. So if you click that, it's kind of like a gateway to do other things. So if you go ahead and do that, you can, I think that my, my device is running a bit faster, as you can tell. Now I do have the no animations on for this device, but that may help also a little bit. So if we go ahead and we just click this again, we can go into settings we can go ahead and install iTweak settings. So like I said, it's kind of a gateway to do many things. Now, if we go back into this and say we want to download some jailbreak alternative sites, we can go ahead and click that and it'll actually bring up another shortcut and then we can check that out. So if we go ahead and we click this, run shortcut, we have loads of options. So let's just go ahead and say tweak box. If we click that, it'll take us directly to the website where we can either install it or in this case, usually you would have to install it, but I have actually already installed it. So it just takes me to the on website app store. So not the app version of it, but the website version of this store. So as you can tell, this is a pretty cool tweak um it's not really a tweak it's more of a shortcut but it's pretty unique that you can do all these things in a series shortcut that most of the time you wouldn't be able to do so hopefully you did like this video if you did leave a like subscribe comment and as always peace out and i'll see you in the next one